All right, skinheads. Uh, today, what I thought I'd do is uh, show you how to play. Uh, what's so now? Um, was I right or wrong? But uh, this time, I'm going to show you a way to play it without changing the uh, tuning. When you have a uh, floating bridge like I do, um, changing tuning is a pain because you don't just change each tuning peg to the note and it stays there while you adjust all the others. As you, when you tune one note and you get it to the right pitch, and then as soon as you start tuning the other, it changes the equilibrium between the spring tension and the string tension, and uh, it detunes the other notes. So with the floating bridge, it's a matter of constantly tuning maybe five times before you finally find a new equilibrium. Uh, it, becomes a, a, it becomes a big pain in the butt, so I do as little as possible. So there are some versions of right or wrong on the internet, uh, on YouTube, but I thought nobody has really done it. We can do a very good job of it without having to retune. Just puts us in a, some awkward places in the fretboard, but not impossible. Uh, we're going to start. This is going to be a lengthy video, so don't be afraid to jump through or jump through to the parts that you really need. strumming part, the picking pattern here, uh, I didn't spend a whole lot of time. I got the feeling of the song, and I didn't worry about the nuances. Uh, if you want to leave a comment to show the right picking pattern for somebody else, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to finger a C-sharp minor here, but I'm not going to hit the uh, minor third there if I can help it. It's changed the sound. That's the sound I want. That's the sound I don't want. The power five chord. See, I hit it right there. I shouldn't have. All right, just the three power five. too much. Um, here's this. Uh, I like it here. Our hand is close to fingering this uh, C sharp minor again, and that's important because we got to pick our pinky off, pull our pinky off, and we want those notes to sound. So I think it's actually. But then I have to make this jump, and I have to make it fast, and I have to make sure I don't mute any strings, so it's got to be fingered well so it doesn't sound it doesn't sound good there it sounds rather harsh this string but uh, I have to make that concession all right they do that a lot and then we get to this is what I'm pretty sure is a uh, not a unison a uh, octave Alright, 
that's uh you'll have to follow that what I could say about that is that uh, if if it's not powerful enough just an octave you can make that a major uh, um, power chord so you can if you need a little punch if you're playing this live it's just I'm pretty sure that's not the way it's recorded uh, the other thing is it's an awkward jump jump all the way up to here so what I'm doing is I'm actually looking at that ninth fret before I get there and then I'm looking at this fourth fret it takes some getting used to but it, I help I find I it helps if I look at the fret that I'm about to slide into um, so I don't uh, make too many mistakes on it all right, then we get to the um, three steps sounding part. Oh, that sounds horrible, man. Two. Here's where the awkwardness comes in, right down here. So obviously, I'm thinking when they play this, they probably tuned to make that an A. So in order to play this and have it sound any good, we can't hit the open A string or it sounds muddy. When you get down here, the pattern changes a lot, the, uh, the particular picking pattern. So be careful of that. It took me a long time to get it done. Not sure about that one. There's a, there must be a snare drum hit or something. It just does make the, you can go right back up to there, but it makes the jump a little easier. And uh, the solo. Yes. here. Uh, nothing too fancy here. Now that you know all the notes are right there. Um, uh, kind of a ghost bend here. But you, since you have to find a string, it's okay to just get a little upward motion. Oh, I missed a string. No bend here.
Take your pinky. floating bridge comes in. I'm pretty sure what he does is uh, just a higher bit. But because I have the uh, floating bridge, it handles a one step jump okay. But when I do an extra long bend, the, the uh, bridge deflects even further and I detune this note, which I don't want to detune. Hear that note detune? So I have to do some kind of convoluted It's nasty. Oh. So I don't worry about it because it's close if I just do... If I bend that string back and just get... we're going for. I know I'm in the right spot when I almost push a string completely off the fretboard. Those are the four pitches we're doing. a lot to it, uh, but I, I think the solo is what I was really interested in, and then I kind of got carried away, did the whole thing. Uh, but as you can see, you can do a pretty good job of it without retuning your guitar, so if you wanted to include it to your set, um, that would be great. Alright, hope you have fun, let me know what you think. Bye.